Hello again. You know, a new day, uh, the same old project. And finally, I got my hands on this industrial, let's call it, factory filter. And I'm going to measure this one against my, let's call it, VO's filter. This is my homemade filters. And uh, I'm really curious to see the results of both of them. Eventually, I'll open this up to take a look inside the filter. Okay, let's talk about filters. You see, I said so many times, a filter is a necessity, at least in uh, very crowded urban areas. There are a lot of radio sources, so uh, in the same time, there are a lot of interferences. LoRa on 868 MHz in Europe, it's very prone to these interferences, you know, they are pretty close with the LoRa band. We have uh, some GSM around 800 megahertz, we have some others at 900 megahertz and in between all kinds of other communication and these filters, they are narrowing the band, you know, they are just focusing the reception to a certain wide frequency around, I think it's like 6 megahertz or something like this straight in the middle of uh, it's like a bell it have a shape of a bell i told you so many times of course this is a soft filter it have a uh, around 2.5 db uh, losings if you can have a cavity filter it's so perfect you know cavity are really nice and perfect and also the filter should be always inserted before the amplifier or before the minor don't forget that any filter, any connector, any piece of cable, extra cable, it's a wasting signal, I may say. But it's a good devil, <laughs> if I may say that. It's cleaning the signal in the same time. Okay, so let's start with Nano VNA. Let me connect this to the computer. Okay, 820 megahertz to 900 megahertz. Let's do the calibration again. Right, and we are ready to go. Let me connect the first filter. This is uh, SMA male and female. You see, it doesn't really matter the input or the output because they are the same in both ways. The signal it's uh, doing the same thing input, output doesn't really matter. And let's sweep minus 3.242. Okay. Let me have another cable. I have to be sure about that. So let's call this a factory made filter. Generic, very generic. Sweep. Yeah, minus 3.149. That is very, very clear. With a top at, uh, as I can see here, look up there. The best is gain minus 3.149 at 866.4 megahertz and uh, and the band it's like let's say if we start from here look at the red one and let's place so we can start with 865 somehow to 871 Okay, I, I may call that 7 megahertz wide. Okay, let's sweep again. Same result, 3.129. Okay, so this is the industrial. You can buy it everywhere. It's clearly take 166 somehow related. We need adapters for this one. So once again, this is the filters I'm building. Okay, there we go. And sweep. It's a huge difference. So we have minus 2.183. Okay. Let's do some extra cable and some other adapter like this. Okay, minus 2.6, minus 2.7. Let's see, can we get rid of some of these adapters? 
And now I'll show you what means, what's the impact of the connectors and extra cables and extra connectors and so on. And we'll do this. I'll have this in the middle, like a real pin. Connect this to Nano VNA directly and no more adapter here. So I'll keep the cable until I have a good contact and then let's sweep. This is not good. Ha, look there. Now I really have a good contact. It's minus 1.61 minus 2.161. These cables are nuts. Minus 2.4. Yeah, but we had a very minus 2.1 something. So it's just a matter of contacts here. Let's say we have this number minus 2.28 on uh, 865.6. So we have uh, a wider band. It's like, uh, okay. So let me find the, the best point, minus 2.62. But let's not forget that we have uh, that we have connectors and cables and so on. So let's take a little bit down and we have like, uh, let's say if we put this one here from 861 to 871. Yes, a little bit wider band. Anyway, obviously better than, uh, than the factory. Another one, look at this guy. 2.132 at 861 megahertz. If we go to our 868, for 868 we have a minus 2.179 dB. So it's a huge difference between these filters, homemade filters, and the factory. Here we have the factory one again. And remember, this is a straight connection, no adapters, nothing. And let's sweep. That's true. It's narrow, but we take care of the gain. The gain is almost 1 dB, 0 0.8 dB, 1 dB loose, more loose to these industrial ones by the homemade. And that matters. Half of dB gain, that really matters. Before an amplifier, it's a huge difference. Okay, let's open it up and see what's happening inside there. So that's how homemade filters are looking like, a little bit longer. But another advantage to these guys is that the connectors are properly tailored, I may say, to the miners. So the, you need no connectors, no extra adapters, nothing. Okay, what do we need there? Let's try this guy, zero. All right, very nice case. So here we have the filter itself. C23S. I don't know what that means, but it's very nice done. Let's face it. Let's take a look. C23C. I don't know what that means. Yeah, that's a very simple construction. No capacitor, just the filter and those two connectors. C23. Okay, and now let me show you. So these are the filters I'm using. 3717 from Qualcomm. 275 on, but anyway, the most important number is 3717. The difference between this one, the industrial and the homemade, my filters, is that the industrial one have a little 
uh, how can I say, narrow band, like maybe six megahertz, and the other one have like eight megahertz. But we don't care about that. We uh, we really care about the impact of the total losing in the system. Okay. Hope it's useful. Please like, subscribe, and most of all, have fun. Bye-bye.